So what goes into a white collar crime investigation? This is Dave at AFX Search License Investigators. It's a cliche, but criminals know that they can steal more money with a pen than they can with a gun, and it's a lot safer. A white collar crime can be a fraud, it can be an embezzlement. A lot of times we hear about Ponzi schemes. Even billing scams and loopholes in contracts are examples of white collar crimes. Either way, it costs somebody money. And in fact, a white collar crime might be more sophisticated, but the criminals usually have bigger egos. That makes them easier to get caught. A street robber usually knows he'll eventually get caught. A white collar criminal thinks that he or she is gonna get away with it because they're smarter than everybody else. They may cover most of their tracks, but they always leave a few because they think that no one is ever gonna pick up on that. They figure that people are too stupid to catch them. They can justify their actions, which is another tool that investigators use to be able to track down a white collar crime and more importantly, get the assets back for the victim. A white collar investigation is all about analysis. It needs genius minds looking at the case, finding the pattern of how the criminal executed that crime or find the one thing that sticks out that's different from what normally happens. If you have a case that involves a white collar type crime or an executive type theft, you can reach us at our website at afxsearch.com.